To pinch or not to pinch, that is the question, really. I love the look of a pinched nail. But pinching with tongs comes with risk. You can crack the product or lift the natural nail. If you pinch too soon, it can wreck it. If you pinch too late, you can actually damage the nail plate. How you can get around that? I'm going to show you how to have the pinched look by using purely a form without using pinchers, pinching tools. Let me show you how to pinch safely. Introducing my new nail forms, the button, a roll of 500 or a 100 starter pack. Available at nailcareer.com. Let me get my glasses. I got new glasses. Look, do you like these, Caramet? Oh, they're cute. Aren't they cute? Oh, yeah. I love them. And it reminded me of myself, I see this up front. This is to remind me to remind you that when you subscribe, hit the little bell because then you'll get regular notices of when I upload a video. If you don't hit that bell, you don't get the notices. Okay, so pinching is one of my favorite, favorite looks. But I actually had the experience once. I was pinching for quite some time with clients and getting pinched. But I went to a trade show once and somebody pinched my nail and it did actually hurt. And it did actually pinch the nail and lifted my natural nail off of the nail bed. And it took a few months for it to grow back out so it would reattach again. So how does that happen? When you pinch, there's two issues that can go wrong. You put the product on. This is one style of pinchers I have. This is the area I'm working in. And this is the area I'm targeting on the nail. There's quite a bit of pressure going on that nail. You're trying to squish product that's curing. If you put this pincher on and the product is curing, which is when you want to put it on, is a very precise time to make it work for you. When you put this on, it's squishing it. If you put it on too soon and the product isn't cured quite enough, you will wreck the product. You'll just dent it and wreck it. You know, bummer. It's not the end of the world. You can fix it. You can do it again. That's not going to cause any damage whatsoever. But the precise time to pinch with the pinching tongs is just when it's starting to cure, when it's getting to the point where it's setting up so much that you cannot really move it so much more, especially with your brush, right? But the pinching tongs, if you put it in there at the right moment, the right second, really, you can pinch it and it will sort of pull the product in to give it a nice round shape. I don't know if you saw my 1980s video, but the forms we used to use, they're not big enough. You couldn't pinch them, really. So the nails always came out flared. So back in the 80s, we sort of learned that if you pull the product in a little, and that's where they developed the pinching tongs, if you do that, then it gives it a nice curvature, because that's the way natural nails actually grow. So they created these, and then you can sort of pinch it. But I learned a great tip that if you pinch with your form and you don't have to use these because when you use these and you pinch a little too late what happens is the product is really grabbed onto your natural nail because that's what you did you prepared the natural nail for it to stick so when it's almost dry you go to pinch and yes you can get that nice curve but if you pinch a little too late it will pinch the natural nail and pull the natural nail up because it's pulling the acrylic to move up and it's adhered so strongly to your natural nail, it's actually lifting your nail plate off of the nail bed, which we don't want. And when it does that, yes, it can hurt. It can hurt a lot. Uh, I had it first done once pinching at a trade show. No, I was at a, um, a show where I was a model for the instructor and they pinched so hard it actually really did hurt, but it didn't lift anything. It didn't wreck the nail. Years later, I went to a trade show and I had it done and it did hurt, but it uh, really lifted. I didn't want to say anything because this is an instructor and I didn't want to embarrass them. So it can happen. I mean, we don't want to cause that. And that wasn't their, you know, they didn't mean to do that. Everybody has a different, you know, pain tolerance and I didn't say anything. So how would they know? So I'm going to show you how to get that beautiful pinched look. And there's varying degrees you can get it just by using a form. So I prepped three nails because I'm going to show you without pinching, what does that look like? And then a slight pinch and then a stronger pinch. So let's start with a form. Okay, so the first nail I'm going to show you is without pinching, okay? We'll do it on the ring finger here. I'm going to just pinch me end. Pop this on. Oh, it's going to be hard. Oh, I don't want to pinch the end. <laughs> I'm going to 
not pinch this guy. Oh boy. That just goes against everything I believe in now. But that's how we used to do it. We would not pinch, okay? And that's how we got the flared look. And how we discovered that was, when you broke a nail, after your nails were well established, let's say for six months, and they've grown out completely, and you've had a product put on for so long, the acrylic will take over, of course, the natural nail shape because you've got the natural long nail grown out. And it can be quite curved. If you broke that nail, when you went in and got a new nail put on, because we didn't pinch, we didn't pinch this, we didn't have pinchers, it would grow out flat and it looked much, much flatter. So then we sort of caught on that, oh, if you sort of grab that in, we didn't think of pinching the form yet, but if you sort of push it in a little, it will get more of a natural look matching all the other nails. So now we pinch every form that we do. So here is a unpinched form. That's what it looks like. And that's how you get a wide looking nail. And then we're gonna do a pinch. And this time I can pinch the end. And we're gonna pop that onto this finger. I'm going to pinch underneath, hold it together, just to hold it together. And you can see that's actually quite lovely. So there's the two difference right there, pinched or flared. Now, if you want the kind of wide nail look, the kind of flared look, don't pinch. And if you want more of a slender, more tapered in, then certainly pinch. Now here's how you get the extreme look of a really strongly pinched nail. And don't get me wrong, I'm not, you know, saying don't do it. It is gorgeous. It's one of my favorite looks. You don't have to pinch the little end, but you can, if you want to use it as a guide. Now you can even go as far as sticking the whole form together if you like, okay? And then you want to pop this on your nail. Now that's extreme right there, but even to go a little step further to get a really extreme look, you want to grab right in this spot here, right in here, right in here, and you want to pinch underneath there and just give it a tuck. When you do it, when you first do it, you're going to feel like it's too extreme. And that's weird. But once you do it and you put the product on, you'll realize that's exactly what you want. And that's going to give you a beautiful, pinched, tubular look. When you look down the barrel of that nail this way, you will see the real pinch look, a flatter look, semi-pinched, and then strong pinched. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put product on all of these, sculpt them, shape them, and then uh, I'll finish them. And then I'll show you each and every one. If you can remember what we've done here, I'm going to speed up to having these done. And then I will show you what each and every one, how you can get those different levels of pinching without using a pinching tongue. Okay, now I'm gonna sculpt these up and we're gonna compare the difference between no pinch, a little bit of a pinch, and extreme pinch. Okay, so I'm just doing the finalizing filing right now. And I have shaped them. Now I didn't do anything specifically different to filing as you normally would. So the shape isn't in the application, the shape isn't in the file, of course you're shaping. But if you don't have the application in the foundation with that form in a pinch style, then you're not gonna be able to sculpt it out of there. Okay, and also cameraman asked a good question when I was filing. Do you remember what it was, cameraman? Oh yeah, um, does it make a difference with the shape that you've done with pinching or not pinching style, how you file? No, actually, the application won't make a difference. It's where the form sits. How you pinch the form is where the application will settle onto it. So it really matters on how you make the form. It's all in the form. Pinching is all in the form. Okay, so I filed these up now. I don't know if you noticed, but I have a new set that I'm very, very proud of. Here's my new brush. I absolutely love them. They're my pride set. 
and look at that bristle, look at that. It's a nice small brush, and if you saw a little bit of that application, you could see you can still make very nice size beads out of it. And what I have is a matching duster. Get a look at this guy. Look at that, it's awesome, which is what I need them for right now. I'm just gonna dust this off. Okay. Cute. I know, I absolutely love them. That's why I'm releasing products, is so you can get them. Sometimes you can't get good professional products without a license, and that's what I'm here to do. Okay, so now I want to take a look at this. Now you can see the difference in between these three nails, which is not pinched, slightly pinched, like normally pinched, and this is extreme pinched. But you really want to see it when you look down the barrel of it. You can see how this is not pinched at all. You can see it just it's just sat on top of the form, which is fine. And then this one is much more pinched. And you can see this one is extreme. So what I want to do now is put some black gel polish on them and then we'll get a look at the final reveal shots of it and you'll be able to see it really strongly because it'll be black. So let's go ahead and paint them. So there you have it with the gel polish, you can really see the shape of it. So it's all in the form. Oh, and if anybody is interested, you can get a hundred pack of forms and I have full 500 pack rolls now. Isn't that cool? So this gives us a really good look. This is no pinching whatsoever. This is the standard of what we normally do. We pinch that form and this is the extreme. These two I really, really like. I really hate that. We're over that. <laughs> but this is what we do now. I love that. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Mm, I love it. Okay, so if you are having any difficulties building acrylic, I have a video about five common mistakes when working with acrylic. Check it out.